Hello and welcome to the My Slice channel. Today, in this video, I want to go through the top five benefits that I get from my Scottish garden. And maybe you feel you get similar benefits from yours, or maybe you're just starting out and see if you are. Please don't let 2024 put you off. It's been a difficult year for all of us. So I would say if you've grown anything, you've done well. Now, I admit, when I first got our plot right at the beginning, I did have this notion of me wandering around the plot, you know, barefoot, cotton dress, just drinking in all that planty goodness like a 70s hippie. The reality has been very different. Yes, it's hard work and yes, it does take a lot of time, but I love it. So let's kick off with my first benefit and that is all the fresh fruit and veg, of course. Yeah, it might seem like an obvious one, doesn't it? But you'd be surprised by how many people still don't grow organic. They're still spraying their food with the same chemicals and God knows what. You know, like the food in the shops, and I don't get that. I just don't. I mean, the whole point for us as a family is that we get to have clean food, which is as healthy as we can possibly get it. I mean, all our fruit veg, herbs, flowers, you name it, a lot of it. We don't spray a thing and we work hard every year to feed the soil with good compost every year. That's all we do, look after the soil and I think that looks after everything else. So yeah, all that fresh fruit and veg, you just can't beat that. The next benefit I personally feel I get is all that lovely fresh air. When I'm feeling ill or just a little under the weather, just being out in that fresh air does wonders for me. And this goes for any time of year. It doesn't have to be, you know, just summertime. Being able to be outside and breathe clean air, surrounded by plants, I think that's just something we should all be able to do. It's, dare I say it, it's rejuvenating, it's health giving. And that brings me to my next point which is, it boosts my mood. Every time I come back from the garden or the allotment, I just feel happier. It's a natural mood boost and you don't need a pill for that. It just happens. In fact, I've often said, I feel like the allotment feeds my soul as well as my belly. And that's kind of hard to explain more than that, but I generally feel like my soul is being fed and every visit, to my plot I feel that and that's the only way I can describe it it's relaxing it's fulfilling and that brings me to my fourth benefit which is getting back to our roots you're getting back to nature again I don't want to sound like a tree hugging hippie but when I spend time in the garden I feel like I'm doing what we're meant to be doing hands in the soil surrounded by plant life the birds are singing to me it feels natural it feels normal like like it's the right place to be i think we spend so much of our time surrounded by technology and just noise it's such a refreshing change to just be in a natural environment and hear all those normal sounds, natural sounds and yeah it just feels like it's what we should be doing and I think more of us should be doing it. I hope more people will start doing it and that brings me to number five in my list which is the time I get to spend in the seasons, all seasons. As hard as this may be to believe considering I'm gardening in the northeast of Scotland I enjoy gardening in all the seasons. Okay, some a little more than others, but I do like getting out even in, in the winter time. I mean, you tune into the seasons when you're out in them and you feel that natural flow of each season. The excitement of spring as plants awaken and you can start sowing your seeds. If you're a gardener, you know that feeling when you've been waiting all winter. And you just can't wait to start sowing seeds. Then there's the warmth of summer. 
starting to bring in your first harvests. Autumn time means coming home with bags of fresh veg and starting to put some of the spent plants in the compost. While winter for me means gathering the last of all those winter crops. I've got my, you know, my root veg, my parsnips are still there. I've got leeks coming, some brassicas, they're still coming in. And it's also a good time to make sure that I'm getting the plot ready to start it all over again next spring. It's a cycle I enjoy every year and those five benefits, they're not the only benefits but they're the first ones that came to mind and I was thinking what is it I get from my garden? I'd love to know if you've got other benefits that you get from your garden. Let me know in the comments below. I'd be interested to see what other people get from theirs. In the next video I'll be giving you an update on the plot so I hope I'll see you there. Why not subscribe so you don't miss it? But until then, thanks for watching.